Canelo Golovkin is here, you must be as excited as anyone. We're really excited. I mean, this is truly an international sporting event. You know, the, the reaction we got from the fans worldwide, both guys have great fan bases, both guys, guys have popular uh, styles of fighting, but when you put them both together, the event becomes bigger than the individuals. And, and the reaction we've gotten since we announced the fight has been tremendous. And, and uh, you know, both guys are very popular here in the UK. Uh, Gennady fought here against Kelbrook last year. And uh, I think the reception uh, here with UK fans is going to be uh, tremendous. Good to kick off the, uh, the press tour here in London as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, kind of playing, paying tribute to the, to the UK fans. I mean, this has really become the hottest boxing, boxing market in the world. And uh, Canelo's fought a lot of uh, UK fighters, so has uh, Triple G. So, yeah, kind of a tribute that way. We we'll kick off the press conference here in London, then we go to New York, and then, and then Los Angeles. There was a lot of um, back and forth about this fight, a lot of uh, questions and a delay in some respect, but why now? Why do you think now is the right time for Canelo Triple G? Well, I think it's a, it, it's a great timing. I mean, Gennady would have wanted to do it as soon as possible. He wanted it last year, but uh, um, you know, with Gennady's uh, win over Kel Brook and then the win over Danny Jacobs and then Canelo beating uh, Chavez and Liam Smith, it's really become a bigger event than it would have been last year. So, you know, Oscar and Golden Boy and Canelo all stuck to their word. Uh, they said uh, September 2017. And here we are. It's the biggest, uh, biggest fight in boxing. There was um, a time when it looked like maybe this fight might fall by the wayside. There were other options for both fighters, and you know you hear different things. Was there ever, a, it, coming from your position, from your you know, point of view, was there ever a time when you thought maybe this fight might fall out of bed and we might never see it? Well, you never know. Uh, it was, it was Gennady's priority. He really wanted to get the Canelo fight, but uh, we didn't know what was going to happen with Danny Jacobs' fight. We didn't know what was going to happen with Canelo and Chavez. After those guys, uh, after the, those two wins, then it, it just opened up the door to announce the fight. And obviously the other belt, this is for three of them, three of the four, the other belt was with Billy Joe Saunders here in the UK. Yeah. Now, he was supposed to be fighting uh, his mandatory challenger. Obviously, we can't really talk too much about that at the moment, but he now needs a fight and we know it has to be mandatory. Frank Warren had mentioned that that this fight, there might be an opening for him on the undercard. Yeah, potentially. Uh, I, w I wonder if Billy Joe uh, regrets calling him Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> With everything that's happened, I don't know. But uh, look, you know, Billy Joe is a WBO champion, uh, and uh, if there's a way to put him on the show, um, I've been talking to Eric Gomez, and, and if we can do that, it could make sense because clearly the winner of this fight, or even the loser, would uh, be a great... Uh, matchup with uh, Billy Joe Saunders, so I th he's definitely in the mix uh, naturally as uh, as uh, uh, the last standing middleweight champion. Besides uh, Gennady and Canelo, has, is the, considered the lineal champion. So it, it's uh, kind of like a three-way uh, race right now. And the rematch clause situation—are you able to talk about that? Obviously, it's all c contractual. Is that something you can tell us? No, I don't really want to get into details on that. Um, this is the type of fight, though, that I could easily see with their styles and the excitement they bring and the financial revenues that it generates, I could easily see this fight happening two or three times. But uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be the fight immediately uh, after in the rematch. So, uh, like I said, you know, Billy Joe should uh, definitely be in the mix. Obviously, three weeks before this is Mayweather-McGregor. Um, the announcement came last week. Uh, I fear maybe that that and all the hype and everything that comes with it might put a pin in this promotion a touch. How do you stand on that? Do you, can you, do you agree with that at all? Look, we're, we're going to do the best job we can promoting this fight. I think uh, the boxing fans realize this is the biggest uh, boxing match out there. Um, certainly Floyd and uh, Connor you know, have uh, huge fan bases and, and that kind of becomes a spectacle. But uh, you know, we wish them the best luck with their promotion and, and we're going to do the best with our promotion. I think uh, both events, or you know, especially this event, uh, has a strong enough fan base with both Triple G's fans and Canelo's fans, and you know the whole international uh, response that we've gotten, that it, uh, it, it it'll uh, perform regardless of what happens prior to it. That fight in the boxing world has got a lot of uh, criticism and, and knockers. I'm sure, as a promoter yourself, you must see the sense in it. Uh, which one? With yeah. Weather McGregor. Look, I mean, if uh, if that's the fight that uh, they want to put together, you know, it, it's uh, you know Floyd clearly. You know, we tried to reach out a couple times to make a Triple G fight. It just wasn't realistic because the weight, you know, even though Gennady would have come to 154. But, look, it's a, it's a, it's a big fight for him. Uh, uh, it's his 50th fight in, uh, for Conor. We have a tremendous amount of respect for Conor. I met him a couple times in Santa Monica. A uh, huge fan of his. And, 
you know, it's just a matter if he can translate that into the boxing ring. I think most boxing experts uh, just think the odds are stacked against him, just like if Floyd would have entered the octagon. It's a pretty much a foregone conclusion that Conor would submit submit Floyd. Uh, but you know, uh, that that's the event. It's a spectacle, and and uh, you know, I, I think um, you know both events should do very well. Canelo Golovkin, the biggest fight in boxing at the moment, obviously good for boxing. May Mayweather against McGregor, is it good or bad for boxing? Well, we saw what happened with the Pacquiao fight. I think that was bad for boxing only in the sense that the fans, a lot of people that never even bought a pay-per-view, bought that event, paid $100, and then were disappointed, and then said, we'll never buy a pay-per-view again. And so you definitely saw the hangover on the pay-per-view. Look, Floyd's fight after that did a tenth. Um, so you can see there was definitely some pushback on it and a lot of the other pay-per-view fights uh, after that. But, you know, it's, uh, again, you can't really prevent things from happening. There's, uh, you know, if there's demand for that fight, then uh, uh, we just hope it's an entertaining event so that that way, you know, it, the, the fans will get uh, excited about, uh, about our event. But uh, the hardcore boxing fans, the Mexican fans, Gennady's international fans, they're all really looking forward to, to this event September 16th. And, and as I said, I think both events uh, will do really well.